हेलो स्टूडेंट अब अब सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स पेयर ऑफ स्ट्रेट लाइन एक्सटर्डेज पीरियड वी हैव टू गिव सम एग्जांपल्स और इन थेरम्स ए होमोजेनियस इक्वेशन ऑफ डिग्री टू ऑलवेज पासिंग थ्रू ओरिजिन दैट इक्वेशन इज दैट ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स एक्स वाई प्लस बी वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस थेरम इज दैट वी हैव टू नेचर ऑफ द रूट ऑफ द गिवन इक्वेशन सो द नेचर ऑफ रूट ऑफ इक्वेशन ऑफ लाइन ए स्क्वेयर प्लस टू एच एक्स वाई प्लस बी वाई स्क्वेयर इक्वल टू जीरो देर आर थ्री कंडीशन इफ द लाइन्स द रूट्स आर द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस ए बी ग्रेटर दैन जीरो लेस दैन जीरो एंड इक्वल टू जीरो इट्स सिमिलर टू इन टेन क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड इन क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन नेचर ऑफ द रूट सेम वे If the value of x square minus a b is greater than zero, then the roots are the lines are real and distinct. In the opposite way, if the value is negative, then the roots are not real. And if the value of x square minus a to be equal to zero, the lines are real and coincident or equal. Okay. So the question is that determine the nature of roots of the line for two marks question. So first question is that x square minus 2 x y plus minus 3 y square equal to zero. Our our aim is to find the value of x square minus a to be either greater than zero or less than zero or equal to zero. So compare this equation with that standard line a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square equal to zero. In short, if this x square x square variable cancel, we get the value of a equal to one. This x y with this x y the value of y square equal to minus two, and the value of y square y square the b equal to minus three. So y square equal to minus two, then the value of a equal to minus. Now consider the value of x square minus a into b. What is the value of h h equal to minus one bracket square minus a a equal to one. Into b minus three. So the answer is negative square plus one minus minus plus this three. So when we equal to plus four, the so four is always greater than zero. Thus, x square minus a b the value is greater than zero. So we know that the lines are the roots or lines are real and distinct. Therefore. Or the lines are real and distinct. Okay. Now second question is that x square minus two x y plus three y square equal to zero. Again the same way. Compare that line. We can find the shortcut the value of a. A equal to here is one to so A equal to one x y twice h equal to minus two and in short b equal to plus two. Okay, a variable twice variable or twice h variable and b variable. So twice h equal to again minus two. Example I can say x square minus two x y plus three y square. Okay, okay. This is the similar example. We can take second example. Sorry. An example. X square minus two x square. Plus y square equal to zero. Okay, x square minus two x square plus y square equal to zero. So the value of a equal to one. The value of y is equal to minus two and b equal to one. So to thus a equal to one. H variable minus two upon minus two plus two that is minus one and b equal to one. 
So consider x square minus a to b. What is the value of h? Minus one square minus a into b. A into b. The value of minus one square plus one. One into one is equal to zero. So the value of x square minus a into b does a b equal to zero. Now the third derivative, second derivative. If the value of third is x square minus a into b, then the lines are here and coincident. Therefore, the lines are okay. In this way, we have to find the nature of the roots of the different lines. Okay. Now. Again, the next part. Some remarks are there. Line is one and the same. Homogeneous equation of that line. A x squared. So A x squared to x x squared plus B y squared equal to zero. If the roots Or the slopes of the line m1, m2 are the slopes of this line. Then sum of slope equal to minus 2h upon b, and product of slope is equal to a upon b. In short, m1 plus m2 minus twice h by b, product equal to a upon b. In sometimes we have to find the nature of uh, we have to find the value of k if that dash line if the Sum of the slope or difference of the line is three, or whatever it may be. At that time, we have to again another formula m1 minus m2. So that the difference of the roots of line is three. For this purpose, again we get same second remark. M1 minus m2 bracket square can be written as product sum of slope bracket square minus four m m1 into m2. This is used for because we have to know that m1 plus m2 equal to minus 2h upon b and product equal to a by b, and there is there is no value of m1 minus m2. So this is very really useful remark. Now we have to solve the second question. Is that now our question is that example show that the slope of line d represented by So that the so that the slope of line so that the slope of line three x square minus something x y is equal to zero. Three x square minus four x y. Plus y square equal to zero. Show that the slope of line, this line, is deeper by two. Is deeper by two. Deeper means different by two. Means the value of m1 minus m2 is equal to two. This is our aim to show solution. First, we compare this line. Find the value of a twice h b, then sum of slope, product of slope, and then our aim to show the value of m1 b per by two to show. Our aim to show the value of m1 minus b equal to show, b equal to two. So write this line. Find the value of a b h. Put the value of m1 plus m2 and product of that line. So, given line, what is the line? Three x square minus four x y plus y square equal to a. Take out the left a. This is a. A equal to what? Three. So y is equal to minus four, and the value of b equal to plus one. That is a three. Y is equal to Minus two is to come here, and b equal to 
plus one. So now here we have to use directly m1 minus m2 bracket square. This is the square. After putting the value, we get the square root. Then we get the value of m1 minus m2 is equal to two. So we can directly use here the formula. What is the formula? M1 minus m2 bracket square is equal to m1 plus m2 bracket square minus 4m1 into m2. There are two methods. Some students find separate value of these, then separate value of these, then two. But try to separately directly solve this problem directly. This put the value of m1. What is the m1? We know that m1 plus m2 is equal to minus 2h by b. Here is the square. Minus. What is the value of m1 into m2? Is equal to a upon b. So this is a upon b. Okay. So is equal to minus minus 2h upon b. That is 4h square upon b square 4a upon b. Put the value of this. Now here 4h. What is your h minus 2? So minus 2 square that is plus 2. divided by b square. What is the value of b? B 1. 1 square is again 1 minus 4. What is the value of a? a equal to 3 divided by b. The value of b equal to 1. So the answer is 4 for the 16 minus 12. That is equal to 4. So the product of slope m1 minus m2 bracket square equal to 4 so taking square root so the answer is m1 minus m2 is equal to plus minus 2 ok our end that is slope of e per bar so we can take the value of positive value m1 minus m2 is equal to plus 2 hence the result Okay, understand? Now, on the basis of the second question, same question, we have to take next question. Find value of k, m1 minus m2. Find the value of k with slope of one of the line with slope of one of the line find the value of k if the slope of one of the line 4x squared plus kxy plus kxy plus y squared is equal to 0 is 4 times the slope of other line. Slope of solution. Find the value of k if the slope of one of the line is that that's 4x squared plus kxy plus y squared is equal to 0 is 4 times the slope of other line. So given is that, what do we have in p1? If m1 m2 are the slope, slope of line, one line is 4 times other line means we have to given that m1 is equal to 4 times m2 or m2 equal to 4 times m2. Okay? This is 1. Now, we compare this equation. What is the line? 4x square plus kxy plus y square equal to 0 and find value of a, h and p. So, directly you can say that the value of a equal to 4 y is h equal to k b equal to 1. So, a 4 y is h k means h equal to k upon 2 and b equal to
Now we have to eat here both the condition, this and this. By using these two conditions, we have to find the value of k. So what is the first condition? m1 plus m2 equal to minus 2h upon b. I think we have to take two part here. And other condition is that m1 plus m2 equal to a upon b. Okay. But the value of m1 is equal to we know the value of m1 is equal to 4 m2. So put value of m1 here, 4 m2 plus m1 as if it is is equal to minus. We can put value of minus 2 s, minus sign 2 s. We put that twice h equal to here k. We put value direct 2 h divided by b. That is b 1. So 4 m1 plus m2 is that 5 m2 is equal to minus k. Okay, now we go to second condition. M1, M2, M2, A upon B. M is the value of M1 equal to 4 M2. Again, this M2 is equal to A is the value of A4, B equal to 1. Means we go M2 into M2. M2 square equal to 4. So M2 square equal to 4. This is the value of 5 M2. Put the value of this M2, M2 here. So m2 is equal to this. So value of m2 is equal to minus k upon 5. Put this value here m2. So 4 into m2 minus k upon 5 bracket square equal to 4. So this 4 cancel with this 4. Negative k square that is equal to k square divided by 5 square means 25 equal to 1 that is k square equal to 25 the value of that is k equal to x square root k equal to plus minus 5 ok so in this way we have to solve so many questions but remember that the important concept is that the sum of the slope of line is minus 2h upon b product of slope is equal to a by b and the difference of the slope bracket square can be written as m1 minus m2 bracket square equal to m1 plus m2 bracket square minus 4 m1 into m2. I have to give an example for your homework. So homework, homework is that find k, find k if slope of line if slope of line a x square minus 4 x y plus y square is equal by 2 I think this is the one and the same expression you see here here is 3 x square here is kx minus 4xy minus 4xy plus y square plus y square. So I have to reverse question. The answer of here is 3. We know that the difference is 2. So we after finding the question answer, you will get the value of this k again. Example, we have to given that m1 minus m2 is equal to 2. Given here for this example, m1 minus m2 is equal to 2 a show or by c per by 2 a show. Here we have to a m1 minus m2 bracket m1 minus m2 equal to 2 given. 